Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. It's 20 degrees in here and I'm quite comfortable. And I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says. How do you tell the temperature in Celsius? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. We'll start with minus 40 degrees Celsius and work our way up to 40 degrees Celsius. Now the first one is real easy. Guess what? Minus 40 degrees Celsius is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They're exactly the same. Minus 30 degrees Celsius, you can think of polar bears, because that's about the temperature in which polar bears live. Don't worry about that, though. That's just a green screen effect. At least I think it is. <laughs> Minus 20 degrees Celsius, you can think of as your freezer, because that's the recommended temperature you should keep your freezer at. Minus 10 degrees Celsius, you can think of, you can think of a frozen snot stickle day. I'm going in for hot chocolate. 10 degrees Celsius, you can think of as a fall day. Fall? No, 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 not a day that you fell. <laughs> no, no, autumn. Actually, autumn would be a better word. You can think of it as a cool, crisp autumn day. <laughs> fall? 20 degrees, you can think of it as room temperature, which is why I said at the beginning that I was comfortable even though it was 20 degrees. 30 degrees Celsius, you can think of a pool, because at that temperature, you're definitely going to want to be in a pool. You can think of 40 degrees Celsius as a fever, because 104 degrees Fahrenheit is 40 degrees Celsius. So, how did the Celsius scale come to be? And why is the Celsius scale a better way of measuring temperature? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The Fahrenheit scale is not a very good scale because rather than measuring temperature, it's based on three points of interest, where zero was the freezing point of brine, ice, water, and ammonium chloride, 32 was to be the freezing point of just water, and 96 was set to be body temperature. Andre Celsius, a physicist from Sweden, thought it would be best to define 100 degrees between the freezing point and boiling point of water. His scale defined 100 degrees Celsius as the freezing point and zero degrees Celsius as the boiling point of water. He did this so as to not make any negative numbers. We use the reverse of this scale today, where zero degrees Celsius is the freezing point of water and 100 degrees Celsius is the boiling point of water. This scale is definitely a much better scale at measuring temperature because this scale doesn't have any set points of interest, but instead is a scale based upon the temperature of water. So now you know more about the Celsius scale. You know, being able to know the Celsius scale without math is why science is so cool.